All right, YouTube, as you know, a couple uh, episodes ago, I was talking about the MLG Pro Circuit Controller. And I ordered mine yesterday through Amazon.com, and here it is uh, on my doorstep today. So uh, let's open this thing up and, and see what we got. Uh, obviously, I got the 360 version. Um, there is a PS3 version as well, uh, and, and they do the same thing. So without further ado here... Ooh. All right, so you guys know that this is a very modular controller. Um, I go through controllers probably about one every six to nine months. I just wear them out. And uh, with this, hopefully I should never have to buy another controller again. Um, as you can see here, it comes with different face plates, different uh, bezels. Um, the default is, you know, the shiny black, kind of like the, uh, the new Xbox or the PS3. And then you got kind of a matte black uh, finish on these as well. Also, you notice that it also comes with uh, PS3, you know, Sony PS3 style uh, thumb pads and a PS3 style D-pad. And then again, the default that comes in the box is uh, just the, the Xbox style. So, uh, I'm not going to pull this one out because obviously, you know, that's what it looks like here. But uh, let's see what else we got in the box. Um, so, it comes with a nice uh, 3 meter, uh, that's about <clears throat> a 10 foot cord. This cord is braided and it also screws into your controller uh, versus uh, just kind of plugging in there uh, so you don't have to worry about cord fray or anything like that. Nice piece here. Uh, this is a box, or not box, uh, nice canvas bag carrying case, uh, MLG logo on it. Um, but you know, that's alright. But let's see the actual controller here. Um, box here. So yeah, it's got a nice heft to it. Uh, one of the nice things about this controller is that back here where the battery pack would normally be, um, it's got a weight compartment. And it has two weights in it, uh, two 35 gram weights. Uh, so for a total of 70 grams that you can have up here. Some people like really heavy controllers. I prefer my controller to be uh, rather heavy. So I'll probably keep both uh, 35 gram weights inside of it. It's just got a nice heft to it. It has a good feel. The back of the controller, as you can see, is this nice rubberized grip. Uh, so sweaty palms, things like that. The controller's not going to slip. The only thing that isn't interchangeable on this is the triggers and the uh, the shoulder bumpers. Um, so if those go out, you know, your SOL, you will have to buy a new controller then. But uh, other than that, the uh, uh, the remaining buttons uh, or remaining moving parts, anyway. Uh, are interchangeable. Obviously these buttons aren't uh, just regular, you know, green, yellow, red, and <clears throat> blue Xbox Skittles there. Uh, the face plates pop off really easy. Let me see if I can get it off here. Um, they're just magnetized. They got magnets in them, you can see. And then they just, you know, fit into the little holes and, and they attach via magnets. Now the biggest thing about this controller, like I've said before, is that, you know, the pieces are modular here. So if you don't like the Xbox style D-pad, you just twist it, and it's got a little, uh, you can see, line up the grooves here. Um, so this, it's kind of hard to do with one hand here, so if you bear with me. Uh, you just twist it, and then it pops right out. And, you know, it's just simple electrical contacts here. Uh, no big deal, and they lock in place. But for me, I like the, I prefer the PS3 style D-pad. So let's get this one out of here. It's probably going to be hard to pop out of here with one hand. But uh, I prefer the D-pad, PS3 style D-pad, as I throw it around the desk. And then again, you just line up the, uh, the groove, or the notch there. You just line it up with the arrow, should drop right in, push down, and lock it in place. And you're ready to rock and roll. So again, I'm not a fan of the shiny pieces, so we'll pop those off. And I'll just show you guys how easy it is to, uh, to make these changes, these modifications. Um, it just drops right on in. The, uh, the magnets pick it right up. And you're ready to go. So we'll get this piece on here. Um, now, will this improve your game? Yeah, probably not. Um, but it's definitely a nice piece of uh, hardware. It's just real comfortable. Um, let's get this other one on. And then let's attach the, uh, the cord. Gonna rip this open here, and and again, it's a super long cord. It's a 10 foot cord. Again, three meters. It's 9.8 feet. 
Um, you can see, just plugs in, screws in, uh, right to the top. Sorry about that guys, a little bit of technical difficulties there. Um, so yeah, the cable. It's got a notch groove in it. Uh, you can see down here at the bottom where my thumb is. And then the controller's got a, uh, a groove in the uh, connector slot as well. And you just line those two up and press down, start twisting, screw it in place, and you're ready to rock and roll, man. Um, I guess Mad Cats has also said they're going to release some, uh, you know, colored face plates or custom face plates as well. Uh, no big deal. I'm a fan of the black, uh, so I probably won't get any of those unless they're, you know, super cool or whatever. But, uh, yeah, you know, the sticks feel good. The buttons feel responsive. Um, triggers feel good. Uh, it's just got a overall nice feel. Obviously, you plug your mic in down there. Um, Obviously, you're not going to be plugging in. I don't think the uh, the Xbox communicator, you know, the chat pad is going to fit on this. Um, but that's all right. I, I don't use one anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, but, yeah, this weekend I'm going to be putting it through its paces, uh, seeing what we come up with. Hopefully it will elevate my game. Probably not. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you online soon. Bye.